biggest matchup disadvantage for the 49ers in this game? Yeah, I think it's actually going to be the interior of that defensive line for the 49ers. They're going to be down Javon Kinlaw this game. And really the biggest strength of that Lions team is that interior defensive line. They have a good tackle, but Frank Ragno is one of the best centers in the NFL for good reason. So I think they're going to struggle with the injury to Kinlaw, even though they do have a lot of depth there. It's probably the deepest position on the team. I think this is really going to be the biggest test for this team. Um, I, you look at the rest of this Lions roster, they've pretty much gotten worse in every single spot. And with their defense, they haven't really added much at all. So I, I think this is the one group I'm looking at for the Lions that is of strength. So to me, this is the biggest test for them. Uh, Jason Aponte is going to block me on Twitter, but I'm going to say the biggest disadvantage is uh, Jack Fox punting for the Lions fourth in overall punting yards last year. And who's going to return punts for the 49ers? Do we really know? Is it going to be Mohamed Sanu? So, and I think the Lions are going to be punting a lot in this game. So it could just be a lot of long fields for Jimmy Garoppolo. He might have to pull off a couple 70 yard drives if they want to score over 28 points. So I'm going to say Jack Fox punting and go ahead and yell at me. I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. All right, what you got, Cam? Ooh, all right. I'm going to be that guy. Um, <laughs> big disadvantage for me. And, you, Grant, you know how, how I get down. I lie for you for a lot to you, man. Um, the, big, the, the big disadvantage is good Jimmy versus bad Jimmy. I, I'm, 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 I'm sorry to say it, like, but that's exactly what it is. Because the only reason we lose the game is bad Jimmy show up and good Jimmy don't. You see what I'm saying? So, And as far as the Lions – it's like a, a practice squad. You see what I'm saying? So, I mean, yeah, you know, like like, like Ben said, the interior D line is, is, is decent, but I don't think that that's a real, real big issue. I, the reason we lose this game is turning the ball over, whatever reason, fumbles, strip sacks, interceptions. So, like I said, back to my original point, good Jimmy versus bad Jimmy is, 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 is the disadvantage. That's fair. I was going to go with Jimmy, too. Just, I was going to say Jimmy versus, I was gonna say Jimmy versus <laughs> Jamie Collins. <laughs> <laughs> because Jimmy Garoppolo throws so many interceptions linebackers and Jamie Collins is a good player but let's that's enough Jimmy uh, Chris Royal says coaching disadvantage we've never seen Shanahan have to coach with missing kneecaps I do think a disadvantage is that they don't really know what to expect from the Lions I mean the Lions aren't good so I mean not matter that's a good one coaches you know, right you know, yeah you don't really know what their offense is you don't know what their defense and also you definitely don't know their tendencies so you don't know what they, what this guy likes to call first and ten in the red zone uh, down up two minute you don't know and we've seen really bad coaches win week one. Tom Sula, Chip Kelly. So I'll yeah. say the, the Niners don't have a coaching disadvantage, but there's this mystery that uh, they don't have, that the Lions have. So let's go with that. But yeah. you, Jimmy, don't throw a pick to Jamie Collins, please. That's all I'm saying. You can throw a pick to anyone, just not Jamie Collins. If he does, I'm blaming you if he does.